Yeah. The one that all it has extra is HDMI and the new camera. Yeah, it's got and it's FaceTime compatible. Oh my goodness, it has upgrades that would normally be on anything being upgraded just like a little bit and they're just oh my goodness. They overhyped it. They overhyped it. Well, I think it's cool. Like, I didn't think the iPad one, but I would actually consider getting the this iPad now. I don't like the iPad. iPad three. If I Which was no if I was rich and needed a status symbol, I would definitely get it. But <laughs> iPad. My brother almost won an iPad, and he's pretty pissed that he totally lost his ticket. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, have you seen the? We did a conference, and there was like a draw for an iPad, and they, they called out the number, and no one went up there. Um, and they all thought it was uh, my friend's ticket. They found her ticket, and it wasn't. And it wasn't her ticket. Matthew um, lost his ticket. Found his ticket. It was the right number. Oh. But they, they already re. Uh, but they already redrew after that, so he couldn't get it. <laughs> I, I came home and I told him I heard about the iPad thing. He's like, "You shut your mouth right now." <laughs> but yeah, no. Have you seen the screen cover that they're packaging with it? No, I have not. That okay? Well, it's it's like magnetic and it covers it, and it you can like just remove it, but and there's no like latches or anything with it. But uh, you can also fold it up and it'll be like a stand. What? A cover for the Mac, but without the actual Mac part. No, it's no, it's like you have to look at it. It's cool. <laughs> it's not like a cover for the Mac. It's it's just like a screen protector that you can remove because there was like they did have a screen protector for the original uh, uh, iPad, but this one it's like it co covers over it and it can fold the other way and it like makes like a stand and you can have it in different positions and stuff like that. So it's like a cover and a stand in one thing and you can completely remove it and it doesn't have any like latches or anything on it. So pretty much like a laptop. No. Yeah. Go for, go for because it's rah, rah, rah. That was sarcasm. I, I gather that. that was, that was I that find was your cool. confidence in the iPad 2 success to be disappointing. It's because <laughs> Apple just keeps pushing out new products, new products, new yeah. products, overhype, new products. Yeah, and they're all awesome. <laughs> Excuse me, but they're all the same. I'm doing Mark. Those were some good products, Mark. iPad 2's coming out. A new oh, MacBook Pro will be. Oh, Mark. Hey, what? Mark, you have to remember that soon. Mark, you have to remember that soon we'll be able to get the iPad Mini. I already yeah, have. I have an iPad, iPad mini. mini. I have an iPad Mini. <laughs> oh yeah, the original though, because oh wait, mine's even worse than the original i than a real iPad Mini because it doesn't have any cameras. Oh darn! I'm, I'm missing know. out. Oh. Okay, anyway, the next topic in our general discussion, unless you want to continue. We can always move to our second optional topic, which is the Academy Awards. Yeah, we got time. I didn't watch it, and I've never watched it. Didn't watch it, never watched it, will never watch it. James Franco looked high the entire time. He looked baked. Um, and... and Hathaway was giddy and like high energy, and it was probably the worst Academy Awards I've ever seen in my life. Neil Patrick Harris. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. I want to know how a man who is openly gay and married to another man can be so straight. <laughs> oh, like I, I just don't understand it. He's got to be the best actor on the planet. <laughs> he does. Impossible. Like, I got no problem with it. I'm just wondering how this man pulls it off. <laughs> because he's glorious. I did watch How I Met Your Mother once, and that answered that question for me. You only me. watched it yeah. once? I've watched, like, the whole series so far. <laughs> Anyone who's genetically related to Wayne Brady is awesome. Yeah, and Wayne, and he was playing a straight guy, and Wayne Brady, who's straight, was playing a gay, his gay brother in the series. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere. But yeah, uh, like, uh, am I the only one who does not give a crap about the Academy Awards? I don't care. I only care about the, the movies. I don't really care about the actual show. And, and I don't care about something that I would care about. 
they, I they, mean, it's boring. It's crappy. It's boring. It's boring. It's overdone. They can make it much shorter and probably better. Three and a half to four hours of people getting up there talking about movies, but all they can do is just say, "Here are the nominees. Here are the winners." Yeah. And all these movies, I've they probably, I've never seen, and probably never will see. Yeah, exactly. That's the way it always is. They always award the stupid movies, the awards. And yeah, the hosts were terrible this year. But uh, it also annoys me that I vote, I vote that we should get Billy Crystal back. There we go. Hey, he was at the Oscars this year, and they gave him a round and, like standing ovation. I know because they wanted him because he's better. He's actually good. He hosts like eight times or something. The Academy Awards will be a success when an animated movie wins Best Picture. That is my. That, that is what I want. Beach the Beast. That there was that Toy Story three. Toy Story three was better than almost all the movies on that list. Yeah, yeah, but it didn't win. Beauty and the Beast did win, I think. No, Beauty and the Beast didn't win. No, I'm talking. Oh, sorry. I mean Snow White. The only movies not the only animated movies nominated for Best Picture were Beauty and the Beast, um, Up, and Toy Story three. Not Toy Story one. Uh, Toy Story 1 was the movie that, uh, that was for the best animated feature movie. Or the best animated feature award. It should have had the best soundtrack, too. <laughs> Toy Story what, what's, Toy what's that Story guy's name? Randy Newman's awesome. Randy Newman, that's it. <laughs> okay, that's next. It. You want to talk about the next topic? Oh, so we don't really need to go right now. The great debate. Is it the great debate now? It is time for the great debate. All right. One of them is 2012. Will it happen? Or B, is the price of university slash college fair? Or C, is digital piracy truly a bad thing? I'm going to say 2012. 2012 it is. Mark? I agree. I think 2012, okay. too. All right. Yeah. So my vote would have been for 2012 anyway, so it's sweet. All right. Cool. Uh, Danny, I'm going to interrupt you here. I think we're – Danny and I talked about a new format for the Great Debate. Basically, what we're going to do is before we even start talking, we're going to say which side we're on, and then you have to, like, argue that side. So I'm going to play the uh, the person who always disagrees just so there's a person who always disagrees, right? So if you guys all agree with one thing, I'll be on the other side regardless. All right? So, what do you guys think will happen in 2012? On December 12th, 2012, what will happen? December 21st, isn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's what it is. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. Okay. December 21st, 2012. People say the world will end because at that moment, the sun, no, 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 the, uh, the sun, the earth, and the center of the galaxy will come into perfect alignment. And they say that because of the excess gravity at the center of the galaxy, which is a massive black hole, it'll push the earth off its axis and... and it, we will be destroyed, and the Earth will end as we know it. Actually, you're wrong about that. Well, this, this is what I read, like, a while ago. Wrong about the pole shift. They actually say, yeah, or they say that the Earth will shift on its axis and cause it to go out in the sun. They also say that uh, there will be a solar flare that will burn the Earth. Uh, they also say that there's another planet that's on a really weird orbit that we've never seen come in this way before, and it will collide with Earth, or there will be an asteroid, but we don't know. The sun is a planet called Niburu, Nimburu, or whatever, and apparently, like in ancient texts, they called it the Great Destroyer. Well, there's a lot of things they say are going to happen. Anyway, do you think anything will happen on that day? I think there will be a catastrophic event where people will be running in the streets freaking out. I'm calling bullcrap. It's bullcrap. Mark? It's not going to happen. Oh, I also think nothing will happen. You know what I will think will happen? I think there will be something, but I don't think the world will end. No, remember like a solar flare and there'll be like a power outage. What yeah. do? There's well, like a mass power, like in the communication satellites in like space will like fail or something like that. I'm not sure. Yeah, what I'm thinking is, well, they've proved that the Earth's solar flares are on a cycle and it's supposed to peak like around this time. And actually, the other uh, the week ago or so. There was some a solar flare that shut down a power grid somewhere in Europe or something like that. So it does happen. It can happen. And apparently they said that 
I heard on some show that I watched in the 1800s, there was a solar flare that they said if it happened today, it would have knocked out all of the power on the earth. Uh, but since they only had telegraph lines and stuff like that, it didn't really affect anything. So, so yeah, I thinking, I'm thinking that there will be a solar flare, but whether or not it's a solar flare big enough to be like, oh, okay, we have power outage for a couple hours, or if we are literally burning because of this gigantic wave of fire that will come, I don't know. Like, really, the one thing that I'm thinking is that not really going to happen. It's going to be more people freaking out. Just because, yeah. just like what I said there. Like Y2K? Yeah, yeah see, um, uh, uh, my mom works at a bank, and she said, like, during the whole um, uh, Y2K scare, people started taking out their life savings and all that and spending it because they thought the world would end. Yeah, and didn't, like, the banks have trouble with the, like... Yeah, because people kept, kept coming in and kept taking out all this money because they thought that the world would end and they wanted to spend as much money as they could. Then Y2K, then, then Y2K, no, then the year 2000 hit world is still there they have no money like really something like this happens every i don't know 10 years ish there's always a doomsday prediction there's always something is going to cause the world to end but then in reality it doesn't yeah and people are the newspapers and the media get something to talk about yeah well and we're talking about it technically too well yeah but they like having fear they want everyone to live in fear that's just fox that's just Fox. No, it's the media in total. It's the media. They want us to live in fear. But uh, like, I was... 2012, which made almost $800 million. I went and saw it. I saw it twice. Was it good? I, I never seen it. I didn't it's see it. It's a disaster it. movie. So, like, obviously, that genre isn't that great. But it's the best of that genre. I've seen. Day After Tomorrow was pretty good. I thought that was good. Day After Tomorrow yeah, was all right. It's stupid. I can't watch. Yeah. I can't watch disaster movies. I can't. Remember. Wait, actually, I like that movie. I think the best. The best disaster movie to watch is Armageddon because the amount of like scientific inaccuracies is just insane. Yeah, so Armageddon was good. <laughs> it's Bruce Willis in it. That too. Hey, it also has Liv Tyler, Steven Tyler's daughter, and Ben Affleck. Wasn't she in uh, Lord of the Rings? I think so. Yeah, she was the elf or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, with uh, Agent Smith, right? You're talking. Yeah. Okay, you're talking yeah. about. Lord of the Rings, and you say she was the elf. That's specific. <laughs> yeah, the, the elf with Asian Smith. <laughs> yeah. 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 I just said that. <laughs> I literally just said that. I'm agreeing with you. Well, why, why are you agreeing? Because you're right. I'm not even. Oh my God, that's that. Did you just say I'm right? Yeah. <laughs> Have any of you heard of Neil deGrasse Tyson? Yes. Yeah? Okay, um, he was on some, like, show I was watching, uh, I think it was on the Discovery Channel, and he was, and someone asked him, um, about 2012, and he brought up the whole, like, the sun, the center of the galaxy, and the Earth were coming to perfect alignment. He said that was one of the theories that people had about why the Earth would end. He said, on December 21st, that, like, people said that, but that, that will happen. And that's what Neil deGrasse Tyson said. He said, it's true. On December 21st, 2012, the Earth is center in the galaxy, and the sun will come into perfect alignment. And everyone was like, wow. And he's like, well, that happens every December 21st. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh, every December 21st, that's what happens. I can <laughs> see Venus. We're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> and it's what we call it the first day of winter. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> you got a point there. Yep. Yeah, see, I've done a comic on the internet a while ago. And it was about the Mayan calendar. Really, that's where this all comes from, from the Mayan calendar. But 16,000 year old calendar. Like, I know, but see, you know the thing is? The guy's making a joke. Like, the guy's holding up the calendar. like, I ran out of space after December 21st, 2012. And so he was like, maybe someone will freak out in the future. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. The whole thing with okay. the Mayan calendar and everything, uh, I think at that point, they were probably a little too busy being invaded and raped and pillaged at that point to build a calendar. So that's not vulgar, remember Lee. That's not vulgar, that's history. That's true. Never mind. Go on, Lee. Yeah, well, like uh, the you got to remember they basically dropped off the, was it the Mayans or the Incas that dropped off the face of the earth? It was the Mayans, yeah. wasn't it? What? Well, was it the Aztecs? No, it was the Aztecs. That's who it was. When are we talking? When are we talking about the the Mayan calendar. Oh, like a long time ago. Yeah, because it's, you know, 400, 500 yeah. years ago. Or basically, if you, 
if you were to make